What's happening? This one just came out of nowhere. I was uh, in the back section of Lowe's and you know how they have the bins in the back section, the, the middle row of Lowe's and they have more bins and stuff in the, in the back. Uh, this is where I found it. It was nowhere to be found in the front. So I was like, whoa, this is a new design. It's got a switch, forward reverse switch and a collar. So we'll look at that in a minute. This is the CMHT667188. B, oh yeah, let's put an eight next to a B, that's smart. 20, 20 piece Craftsman screwdriver and it looks like has a lot of improvements. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be comparing the old one to the new one. The old one is nowhere to be found. Uh, I found it on uh, Amazon for a little bit and then back on the Lowe's site and then Lowe's just shows it but you can't buy it. So uh, it's a rare one so now I guess we know why, because we have a new improved design. And uh, but even on the old one, it showed up for like a holiday season in the bins. And then once they were gone, they were gone. So that was kind of weird. You were still able to buy them online, but yeah. So if you can see, you can find this one at your Lowe's right now, I would pick it up before it's gone as well. Uh, but yeah, they had plenty in the bins. Um, so far, I talked to a couple people on uh, Instagram. They said they didn't have theirs at their store yet. So um, they're either showing up or it depends on the region. So yeah, just definitely keep an eye on this. Um, if they don't have it on one Lowe's, hopefully they'll have it on the other Lowe's. And uh, yeah, seems like a Lowe's exclusive only too. Because uh, I didn't see any at Ace Hardware. I saw the ratcheting drivers that look almost just like this at Ace Hardware, but none of, none of these. So um, Ace Hardware might be another outlet for you to check out. And yeah, pretty cool, four volt powered, has the, light as well and uh says four times faster four times faster to what i don't know warranty um uh, i would take that with a grain of salt because one day that may be there one day it may not and sometimes it may be good sometimes it may be shit. so yeah, warranty doesn't really mean a thing anything on this join the club so yeah we have some pieces in there apparently this is a 20 piece i'm guessing they're all bits We'll open that up. It is uh, Echo and Fabrique and Chine. And uh, yeah, there's your bits right there. Integrate, uh, seems like the same features as it shows in the front. Enough of that. We're also gonna be comparing the vessel as well. And uh, yeah, this one, uh, it's okay. But uh, these are, all these screwdrivers are quite popular, so. We'll get a good comparison of all three. This is the Vessel 220 USB. Uh, one of them, there's apparently there's a whole bunch of them. So yeah, I'll uh, go over that later on in the video. So let's open this up and uh, see what we got inside. All right, so in the package, we get a micro USB cable. You're gonna need something to charge it with. Uh, no charger with this one. So that is it on the cable. We have, yeah, three foot cable. Micro USB, looks like it flashes when uh, charging. It was at the yellow, so hopefully we get a good enough charge here to do a good comparison here. And yeah, very compact, nice, like just a, like a regular screwdriver. It's, this is a VHA right here. It's a bit holding screwdriver, very similar to the VHA right here. This is not the electric one, but uh, yeah, very, very similar to that. Super compact on this one. This is very nice. This is about the smallest one I've ever seen here. And yeah, nice sticky grip on it. Very uh, well made and plastic looks pretty solid too. Not bad. Yeah, so we hit, we get the uh, bit holder here with the uh, single ball collar, no quick. You have to constantly pull back every time. And uh, the magnet is fairly strong on this one. So keep that in mind. So two rows of bits we have two quarter inch and a three sixteenths and one eighths and then a number three, a number another number two. So we get two two number twos and we get a pH one and a pH zero right there. T10 to T25 on the Torx, which is nice. Nice range on the Torx there. A Robertson number one and a Robertson number two and one eighths, a three sixteenths and a quarter inch hex, which is super nice. So that's all you get in the package right there and also the instructions as well. All right, right off the bat, the biggest improvement we could see from the old one is the size 
Got my Craftsman bottle opener tape measure here to measure the body of this one, which is six and a half inches long. And the total will be about nine inches. This one is nine and a half inches long. And yeah, 10 inches total. This piece cannot be removed. So yeah, you take this piece off right here and check that out. You can also put a bit in there too. That is super compact. And yeah, even the diameter is a lot smaller. Looks like it was just freshly made too. That's uh, April of 2021 and this one is uh, 2019. So yeah, there you go on the size. So a little recap on this one. I believe I have a video, it's quite old. You might have to dig for it on this one. This looks very similar to the DeWalt. The DeWalt has two versions, a straight and a angle bend one. I think you can bend it and the batteries are replaceable. It's an eight volt battery system, so you get an extra battery. This one, the battery doesn't come off. So it's got the same feature as the gyroscopic feature as the DeWalt. So this panel right here activates it. So as long as you hold it, it'll be in a state where you can activate it. So you start off, you hold it, it doesn't move you start going that way it'll start going and it'll stop and then you start going that way it'll start going it takes a little bit to get used to and then the more you go the faster it goes then it goes to full speed and then you go back to the middle it'll slow down it'll come to a stop and then you go faster the more angle you turn it so it's gyroscopic yeah it takes a little bit to get used to okay we have a good full charge on this one what was nice about this one is that you don't have to find the switch anywhere. You just have the paddle. So if you're in a situation where you're assembling furniture or something and you don't have access to the switch or anything, you just hold that. It keeps the light on too as you hold it and then, then you go. You don't have to guess where the switch is or turn it and position it into a way to find the switch. You have this nice long paddle where you can press on any part of it and it activates it and you can lock it as well prevent activation inside of a bag or whatnot. So yeah, there you have it. My favorite feature about this one was definitely the light. The light was just super bright. Right, let's remove this one off the charger. Compare the lights right here. Yeah, the light is kind of dim on this one. It does have its nice little bright spots on it. But yeah, this thing is by far way brighter. It helped a lot uh, when assembling furniture or in a closet hanging up hooks and stuff. Did not need a flashlight. This was plenty bright. So yeah, that was cool. Yeah, the only downside was on the bit holder, it just uses two paper clips or some kind of a paper clip system there. And many times I was uh, fastening many things and the bit stays there, which was quite annoying. But uh, other than that, it's pretty strong. I put a lot of strength in this and it does have quite a bit of strength in it as well on some tighter screws. So yeah, this definitely one of my favorites right here. So yeah, still into the loop there. I'm not gonna get rid of that one, super nice. And we're gonna see how this one does over time. So let's do a comparison. I have a little rig right here that we could do a comparison on the speed. All right, so right here I have a six bay terminal right here. Let's check the play real quick. It does have quite a bit of play compared to the old one. That is a lot, so it can get annoying there when tightening and, and loosening. So yeah, just keep that in mind. No other specs I can find on it, no torque specs I can find. It does have a 300 RPM uh, no load speed, so yes, I did find that. Uh, nothing else in the owner's manual and yeah, nothing else online, so that's it on that. Let's uh, begin with loosening these and see how much faster it is. Again. Yeah, way faster. <laughs> and then let's try tightening it, see if it's any different. Oh yeah, way faster. Yeah, it's definitely a lot faster though. And let's see if the play is different when we put a bit in. So that's nice and tight right there. Let's see if that play changes when we put a bit in. 
maybe a little bit better. But yeah, that's quite loose, so keep that in mind. All right, next up, we're gonna put it up against the Vessel 220 USB. I had this for quite a while now, I think uh, three or four months now, and uh, they sent this one out to me as a sample, so um, yeah, so it's kind of a little bit, uh, I don't wanna get too biased on it, but uh, I actually don't really like this one. It doesn't have that much torque. This is just mainly meant for light screws. Uh, quite complicated to understand this um, model here is, it's 220 USB everywhere, but there's like a whole bunch of different other part numbers of depending on what bits you get. So they are marketing it to the United States. So we are seeing different part numbers now with different bits. So the part number all depends on what bits you get in the back. Uh, this one only came with one. And um, yeah, keep an eye on uh, when you order these. If you are gonna get one of these, make sure if you want the JIS version, you're gonna have to get the Japanese version with the JIS bits. If if you stumble across a different part number and it's a different price, uh, keep in mind, look at the bits because that's what's gonna be different on these. Uh, I believe there's only two of these. There's a fast one and a slow one. So yeah, that's uh, on the body wise, there's just different colors. You'll find different colors and stuff, but there's a fast one and a slow one. And that's pretty much about it on these. Um, it's very low torque. Uh, had this red light turn on me many times trying to screw just basic things in, which the screw is screwable, but um, it needed a little bit more torque to tighten and it just couldn't do it. It was flashing red on me all the time. And the charge isn't that well on this either. So the charge doesn't last that long. You gotta charge it with the micro USB right here, the little window. And uh, this switch is really hard to press. You have to stick your nail in there to go forward and back. The light is okay. You only get it on one side. It's just a typical LED bulb in there. That's it. It's just implanted in there. Um, it does have a nice grip and um, the strength is good. That strength manual it is is quite nice. I haven't messed with the motor or anything. It hasn't stripped anything out. I really put a lot into my palm on it. So that, at least that's good about this one. Yeah, so yeah, Vessel 220 is kind of pricey. Yeah, 220 USB. If you search that, you'll get a whole bunch showing up. It is made in Japan. Uh, there's other ones that look similar to this. I don't know where those are made, but uh, yeah. Uh, that's my take on it so far after having it a couple months I kept grabbing this one which is has a lot more torque on it and yeah it'll it'll power through a lot more stuff versus this where I had to put it down I just I just grabbed this and just went 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 to town with this one so yeah this is very low torque here for light torque situations and let's put it against the new one right here and uh, see how this goes if I can find the trigger here so I will be removing these, see which one is faster. Let's go. This one will fall out here. Let's try these. Yeah, that's about the same. Just bear with me here, doing it by myself. This will probably be a better comparison right here. So if I can find the trigger here, let's go down. Ooh, it's about a tie there, so let's try that. Yeah, they're about the same speed. So, there you have it on the speed. Pretty cool, yeah, but pretty much about the same. And that magnet is pretty strong. Cool little bit adapter. Yeah, if you can get these separate. Find it on uh, Amazon, these are cool right here. So let's do like a torque type uh, face off now. All right, so here we have a piece of wood that's been sitting out dry, not fresh. Uh, just one hole right there. So we're gonna stay away from that hole. We're gonna go in a fresh spot right here. And um, we're gonna try the vessel first, full charge. It would show red if it wasn't a full charge. So yeah, I'm gonna do the vessel first because I know this is not gonna work right. So here we go, we're just gonna go right into the two by four and see what it can handle here. That's it, see, oh, there you go. Flashing red, it cannot handle that. And uh, yeah, every time I go, I grab this guy right here, full charge and the 
way down. Love this thing. So now let's try the uh, new one. And let's, let's, uh, let's remove it, see how that goes. Not quite, let's, let's try the manual on it here. Yeah, so it's got the play on it. And yep, yeah, I have to unscrew it out a little bit here to get something, let's see. Hmm. And it is green. Quite fast there. All right, so let's try it in a new spot right here. And that's it. So, higher speed, no torque. That's it. When it stops, screw it in. <laughs> uh, very interesting here. Yeah. So yeah, compact means low torque. This four volt right here, yeah, same same voltage, four volt, and this is four volt. Very interesting, yeah, four volt max DC, 300 RPM, and there's everything on that one, four volt max, or this is 180 RPM. Yeah, this thing's got quite a bit of torque. We'll go back to the vessel here. Same thing, and then back up. That's it. Manual mode. So, if you wanna go for torque, there's a reason they still sell that DeWalt everywhere, so. <laughs> Just a little hint there. I'd uh, go for the DeWalt, and I, I do have my mind on getting that DeWalt too, and the collar has a locking collar on it too as well. Uh, it is quite larger though, uh, not by much, and then you get the batteries that can be replaced, so there you have it. We got to look at all three of these, and uh, yeah, there you go. My comparison of all the new to the old, and Definitely keeping this one. <laughs> All right, guys, that's enough. I think I went to quite long on this video. Thanks for staying here to the end, to the face-off here. And once again, guys, thank you for watching, and on to the next.